So uh, lead code practice time. So in this video, there are two goals. The first goal is to see how to solve this problem. And the other goal is to see how we should behave in a real interview. So let's get started. Uh, remember, in a real interview, the first step is always to try to understand the problem. If there is any and, and if there is anything unclear, please bring up the question. And uh, at the same time, think about some ash cases. So let's take a look at this question. So insert delete get random O1 duplicates allowed. So they design a data structure that supports all following operations in average O1 time. Uh, and uh, it says average O1 time. So duplicate elements are allowed. Insert, remove, and get random. So the get random will return random element from current collection of elements. So the probability of each element being returned is linearly related to the number of the same values the collection contains. All right, so take a look at the example. First of all, if we insert one, insert one, insert two, so we have two ones and uh, one two in the, in the collection. So the probability to return one is two thirds and the probability to return two is one third. Let me call the get random. Okay, so it's pretty clear about the question. Um, let's see how to solve this problem. So essentially, uh, for insertion and uh, get random and removal. Uh, so let's see. So usually for this kind of thing, we have several different choices. For example, we could use list. Uh, so for list, let's see. So of course, we are not going to use set. So potentially it's hash map. But uh, let's see. Let's see the different options in list. So there are there are usually two kinds of lists: the linked list and the array list. So for linked list, the insertion of course is going to be all one. Removal is going to be linear to the length of the list, which is not which doesn't satisfy our condition. And for array list, the insertion is going to be all one. Removal is going to be. Uh, so if it is a last element, then it's all of one. But if it is in the middle, then it is uh, all of n. So get random. Um, so get random is going to be all of one if you use array list. So it seems like uh, it's pretty clear that we could just uh, uh, twist the array list a little bit. So for example, when we do the removal, we just switch with the last element. Uh, within the array list and then just simply delete the last element so it is going to have all one uh, as a runtime uh, for this api so having said that we are going to use array list as the underlying data structure to implement the different apis so next part after you find the solution it's time for us to uh, do some coding so here uh, first of all we need to have the array list. Let's say private. Uh, let's say just list, uh, which is a integer. Let's say nobs. Now, so to, for the removal, because we want to do a swap with the last number, uh, so we also want to say we also want to keep a hash map. Is keep record of the value and uh, the corresponding index indexes of the value. So we will have say private map uh, the integer and the set of the integer uh, num indices, and uh, we will also have a random uh, as a member. So uh, in the constructor, uh, we will have nums as new array list and uh, num index is equal to new hash map and also the random is equal to uh, new random all right so for insertion uh, it's pretty simple uh, let's see. So inserts a value to the collection returns true if the collection didn't already contain the corresponding didn't contain the specific element. 
Alright, so first of all, we are going to say, okay, now I'm down insert or is add the value. And uh, you're going to say, okay, so if um, uh, the nums dot uh, index, if it doesn't contain the corresponding key, then we are going to uh, get a new hash set uh, and then insert into the hash map. So if it doesn't contain the value, then we are going to say, um, num index dot uh, put value a new hash set yeah so and then you're going to say num index dot uh, put uh, this is a value and the index would be num dot lens uh, uh, no, so it should be dot get value dot add a num the length or the size right uh, minus one. So we keep record of the index of the new inserted value, and uh, finally, uh, I so we update the nums, we update the num index, and finally we need to decide return true or false. So return true if the collection didn't already contain the specific element. So we just need to say return true if the didn't already. Okay. So we just need to return num index dot uh, get value dot size is equal to one. So if it is equal to one, that means it is the first time we insert the corresponding uh, value. So the random, let's implement the random because uh, because that's uh, because removal is a little bit tricky. So random, uh, we are going to return random dot next int. So this is a this is a index. So the index is num dot length uh, or size. So this is the index, and uh, we need to call nums dot get on the corresponding index. So let's implement the removal. So for the removal, uh, what we will do is we will try to find, uh, uh, so first of all, we will get a index for the value, and then we are going to do a switch with the last element um, within the array, and then we are going to delete the last element from the array. So let's see. Uh, let's see. So we are going to first get the index. Let's say int while index is equal to num index dot uh, get value dot. Uh, uh, this is a set. I was a iterator dot next. So we will just uh, get a random index for the value. And then the next thing is we need to find the last, what is the last uh, element. So, um, as, so we get the value index. So I think it is a time for us to also update the num index map actually. So num index dot uh, get um, value dot uh, remove the value index. So at this moment we have cleared num index uh, for the value and the corresponding value index. And the next thing for us to do is we are going to have the last uh, number within the input array to fill up the value index. So we are going to say uh, int last num as equal to uh, nums dot uh, get nums dot size. So this is the last number, uh, and uh, 
we are going to uh, fill it with the value index so we are going to say nums.set um, this is well index and the set it is last num and we are also going to update so we are also going to update the last nums index because essentially we have already removed the last index uh, for this last num and we need to add a new value index for it so you would say num index dot uh, get uh, uh, last num so first of all we, we need to remove the num dot size minus one from it and then we are going to have num index dot uh, get uh, last num dot uh, add uh, the num index so after all of that then we are going to remove uh, the last number from nums so nums dot uh, remove uh, the num dot size and uh, minus one then we just return the return true if the collection contains a specific element okay so i'll say if uh not uh num index dot contains key so if it doesn't contain the key or uh num index dot uh, get value dot is empty or the index set is empty then we are going to uh, return return to if the collection contains a specific element so we are going to return false here otherwise at the end we are going to return true so let's see uh, first of all we get the index a random index for the value and then we remove the index for the value uh, yep that finished the first step and then we are going to get the last number for it for it from the array which is this line and then we set the value index as the last number and then we are going to remove the index from it and then add it re-add it um so I think it should be mostly fine. Let's see if the last what if the value index is the last index. So if it is a last index, then we are just going to remove the last index for this value and then we are going to re-add it back. So this is not correct uh let's see how to do this um so we are going to remove it so we are going to remove the last value we we are going so let, let's say if the value is the last number and the value index is the last index so first of all we are going to remove it and then we get the num size minus one so num set the value index as the last number and then we just simply remove it and uh, okay so maybe I just need to add a, another if branch so if num index is uh, so let's say if it is smaller than nums dot size uh, minus one, then we are going to add it back. Otherwise, we don't need to. Uh, sure. So let's 
take a look at this one so 48 so let's fix some typo so if the okay so if it is a value index if the value index is uh, if the value index is smaller than it should be good okay let's give it a submission all right so it's accepted so you you have seen you see that I did a couple uh, submission before and uh, encounter some arrow. So let me explain what I encountered essentially, so that you don't make the same mistakes in the future. So I made some mistake when implementing the remove. It's something like I made some mistake about the sequence for removal and adding. So in the previous implementation I try to first add and then remove so it can cause some some issue so for example you add something and then so for example you uh, you add a, so you add something into it and if you remove the thing you just previously added then it is going to accidentally uh, delete the something you don't really want to remove so I'll say first of all you should try to remove the things from it and then try to add it this can uh, first of all you try to remove something from the num index map and then you try to add it back so that can avoid some uh, some some misoperation about updating the num index map so uh, that's it for this coding question if you have any question about the puzzle or about the solution itself uh, feel free to leave some comments below if you like this video please help subscribe to this channel i'll see you next time thanks for watching